What's up YouTube and welcome to this, quite frankly, one of the most bizarre episodes of Mr. Robot. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably obviously a fan already, and you'll know that, well, that is a statement that is crazy in itself. But this episode was just beyond bizarre. And to be honest, I'm a bit worried the show is going to fall in on itself. But I want to say, you know what? I called it. These people following Angela, you know what? They weren't FBI, but they were someone else. And they've been tracking her non-stop. So, where did she go? So, Angela was led into a room which was just bizarre. And I'm pretty sure, is this a Commodore 64? I wasn't too sure on what this was. It looks like, like one of the first ever computers I had. Like a Spectrum, a BBC Micro. You won't know what that is if you're in America, of course. But it does look like a Spectrum or a BBC Micro or a Commodore 64. I'd probably say a Commodore 64. And I have to say the little images that came up were so cool. And my question is, is this actually happening? Does this really happen? Because right now, Mr. Robot are breaking this down. They're smashing down the barriers of what is happening internally and what is happening externally. So we can see White Rose here chatting to Angela. And I kind of think that this is sort of an internal thing. Like this was in her head what it would look like. But the conversation actually happened, and they're saying that she was actually supposed to be killed 90 days ago, and they want to stop her interfering with the plans for the Dark Army, China, and also E Corp as well. So this is pretty much, I'm sure that they didn't actually just kill her and stop her getting in the way. Is she more important than we realise? And that's a, something that I'm surprised, I think after season one, when she's become integral to plans for F Society and seemingly now the Dark Army. So it's interesting to see where this plot line is going to develop and what is going to happen moving forward. The weakest storyline thread going forward at the moment, I would say, is the whole E-Coin China loan, because to be honest, at the moment, it doesn't really make a lot of sense as to what the CEO wants to do. So he wants to take the loan to bail out, then wants to move forward using this cryptocurrency and is open to being regulated. But surely the whole reason he wants to do the cryptocurrency is to control it all. But surely if you're being regulated, then there are limits to what you can do, what you can't do as well. So it seems like the government is on a barrel here and being tried to be screwed over, which I'm not too sure to what end and what end he actually wants to stop China from controlling everything, because obviously they're going to control E Corp if they have this loan. So we finally worked out last week what the actual thing in the apartment that Mr. Robot wants, and it is obviously, you've got that menu there which was used to decipher this message from Tyrell Wellick. So we got to see from external, we got to see Mr. Robot actually work, but it's actually Elliot being Mr. Robot working. But it was cool to see him finally in action as it was. So we got the mystery solved, kind of. Now we know where Tyrell Wellick is and we got to see him finally. Now, once again, I find it incredibly hard to believe that Tyrell Wellick here is alive, well, and walking around Manhattan when he's pretty much the most wanted man on the planet, which makes zero sense that he was allowed to just get in a cab, walk around and do this, and looks immaculate. So we know that Elliot makes personas based on his past, so, have we now got a third version of Elliot? Have we got Mr. Robot, Tyrell Wellick Elliot, and Elliot himself? So now, for me personally, I don't really believe that Tyrell Wellick is alive, because on Reddit there is a translation of what the cab driver was saying, and it's pretty much just saying that he's, he's gone crazy, he's blown a fuse, which 
means he's gone crazy, etc., and things like that. So I really don't believe, I think that this is now another persona and that obviously Elliot knows and has information about absolutely everything. And we know that, well, phase two was his plan. Well, now it's Tyrell Willick's version of Elliot's plan. So I, for one, am very excited to see what is happening and what phase two will entail. So that's been it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please do drop a like if you enjoy Mr. Robot. Comment below what you think. I want to know your thoughts and theories. And please do subscribe if you want more of this content. So I'll see you next week for this. Goodbye.